Hello and welcome to your Ministry of Bridges channel. This channel is about bridges. My bridges, your bridges. Today is all dedicated to students. If you are a student, doesn't matter your age, you will have access to Tecla Campus. And having access to Tecla Campus, you can download the software for free and have access to learning materials that are going to be very useful to help you during the first few steps. After that, I'll show you three great projects from students that entered into the Tecla Global BIM Awards Competition 2020 for the students category. They are very different, all these three projects, but they are all great projects. I look forward to show you. I'm Gabriel Nevis 775 uh, on Tecla campus. Uh, that's not my age, by the way. Today, with the pace of our society, maybe you don't have much time to learn on the job. Tecla structures give you the opportunity for free to give those first steps. You have learning materials. And then when you look for a job, you'll have already the basics, the foundations. Without any delays, let's jump into it. So we are here at uh, campus.tecla.com and you'll have access to a website where my colleagues at Tecla HQ are putting lots of effort in order to help you during the process of learning. And let's go straight into which steps do you need to, to do in order to have your free Tecla structures. So the first step, you need to register. First name, last name, email uh, and password. I'm not a robot, create the account. Simple as that. Then you're going to get an email and you need to activate your Tecla Campus account. So you're going to get the email with a link. Just follow the link, activate, and you're ready to go. Simple as that. Then probably the most exci exciting moment uh, that you need to go and download the software. But here I need to explain a couple of things. The first thing is you need to click here to I read and accept the terms. Feel free to read the terms and then you download. That is the main Tecla structure software. Then you need to download environment. And then what is an environment? An environment is an add-on that goes with Tecla structures, is specific for the country that you are in. If you are in UK, you download the environment UK you'll, and you'll have all the standards uh, for UK uh, work. If you are in the USA, you'll have the USA envir environment, metric or imperial system, and you'll have all the ACI standards, for instance, uh, over there. So which environment do you need? If you just go to, to learn, feel free, download the default environment, and probably it's okay for you to go. If you want to do uh, something more serious, just think about what is the standards you're going to, to use. Just download the proper environment, and you are okay to go. You'll see here, if, for instance, you are in USA and collaborating with a university uh, project uh, in the UK, you need to decide what is the environment. Is it is it is a UK environment or US environment or even Canada and so on. Download the software, download the environment. You can download as many environments as you want. You can install as many environments as you want, and then you just swap uh, when you uh, turn Tecla structures on. The next is that you can download extensions. Extensions are extras, add-ons that run on top of Tecla structures that are not dependent of the version of Tecla structures that you have. You can have Tecla uh, 2020 and a new extension updated every single month, but the Tecla structures 2020 core software keeps the same. This is a massive advantage of doing this way. Install first Tecla structures, then install environments, and then extensions. That's the way. That's the way. So don't go and install environments first and extensions because it will not work that way. This is the exciting moment. You download for free and then you ready to go. Then come to have a look into the learn. Maybe this is the right moment to ask you to pause the video or even don't pause the video and click the like button, please. And if you have questions, I will answer every single question that you have. Let's go back to it. You need to choose a learning path. You have introduction, modeling concrete, modeling steel, modeling uh, model information, uh, manage model information, and drawings, right? My advice, honestly, is that 
just go over every single one of these. Even if we are not thinking about steel work, go over it. There are lots of information that is very important for the general uh, usage of techless structures. Make an effort, go step by step and watch everything. Let's have a look. So if I press here into getting started, so it's loading, and now you cannot hear the sound, but uh, you can click here. To launch tech law structures and how to open so you have sound, someone is teaching, uh, and then you have a very intuitive way to learn. Sometimes it's just text, other times you will have some videos. So let me just uh, write. And sometimes you have some videos and those videos are very, very easy to, to follow. Let's just move on here a little bit for you to see. These kind of tutorials are presented in a way that you're going to learn faster. So I'm going to have tutorials here at the Ministry of Bridges and I can assure you they won't be as easy as uh, these ones. These ones. This ones, we, our team uh, for the Tecla campus really works hard to have the best information and the best way to explain things. And uh, things are complex, they don't need to be then explained in a complex way, they are complex enough. You'll have opportunity to go one by one and to do some tests. I know you all love being tested, here it's your opportunity to shine. It's not a big deal if you fail, just do it again and you'll see that uh, worthwhile. Let's jump here for modeling steel, for instance. If we jump to modeling steel, now the wee man is already teaching modeling, modeling steel parts and creating steel columns and creating steel beams and so on. Uh, and now is here showing in the model what you should be doing. Tecla structures is not intuitive, is a is very complex to in order to be learned intuitively. This is not SketchUp, all right? Do this training, then have a look into Tecla Structures um, website and Tecla Structures YouTube channel. Have a look into there, and uh, there are lots of and lots and information over there. And then gradually, the Ministry of Bridges. I will have some tutorials for you. But, uh, I will not have tutorials for anything else but bridge related. You can do form work, you can do scaffolding, you can do precast concrete, cast in place, concrete pours, steel, steel work connections. You can do all that and it's a world of uh, the construction and the modeling. I uh, will be just focused into what you need to know in order to do bridges and tackle structures. Let's move on. So you will have more and more of this. Uh, eventually you'll finish that uh, and then practice and come back to the Minister of Bridges and let me know if you want more training, if you want more material in order to progress in your uh, learning and your development. Very simple, right? Register, activate, download, learn, and then Ministry of Bridges, it will be here to help you during your first steps. Let's call it baby steps, no matter what age are you. Learning Tecla structures could be the foundations for a magnificent career. If you like geometry, if you like problem solving, if you like construction or seeing things being built, being part of this family of this worldwide family that builds things for the community, the first step of clicking the registration, step one, could be the most important step in your career. As it was in the past when I was looking for a career, when I was a teenager, and I just decided I wanted to do this. In that time, it was drawings by hand, but that is what I wanted to do. And there is one more thing that I want to share with you. During my career, at least since I started modeling and learning Tecla and producing and managing teams, Tecla structures uh, teams, beam teams, I don't ever come across with someone that is Tecla structures expert that is currently unemployed. There is something about being Tecla super user. Even during 
moments of crisis like the one we are uh, currently all in i don't know one single tecla super user that is unemployed don't come to me to say you are unemployed uh, you know tecla structures and you need a job I can guarantee it will be very easy, depending which country you are in the world, or if you are free to travel and work in a different country. But I can guarantee it's not difficult to get a job when you are a Tecla super user. This is my opinion. If you don't agree, drop me a comment below. If you agree, drop me two comments below. My goal was to share with you and to give you the information for you to give the first steps. Sometimes the information is there, we just don't know about it. Now, no excuses. If you want to do it, the information it's there, you can do it. And then come back to me, come back to the Ministry of Bridges. I'm here to help you out. But there is something that I'm not going to answer. If it is something basic that is on the learning that I've just shown, I'm not going to answer about that. At least the basics you need to know. Learn back to back what is available on that e-learning. Try to do it. And then when you have uh, doubts and you want to progress more, I'm here to help. And I'll create as many episodes as necessary with tutorials for you to become the best Tecla modeler in the world. No but for an ambition. Dreaming doesn't pay taxes, right? Put the effort and for sure, the results will come straight after that. Very excited now to show the three bridges under competition for the category of students for the Tecla Beam Awards 2020. Let's go back to it. We are here for the Tecla Global Beam Awards uh, students uh, category. And in this case, let's just have a look very fast into the every single project here. There are not many as the for the other categories, but we have a sulfuric acid storage tank, Mashid Kalimantam Baru, West Sumatra Main Stadium. This is a student project, right? It's a stadium, it's a student project. It's mind blowing this stuff. Undeep multi purpose building, a sports center, and now it's an, a fantastic arena here too. So again, I think. He, these projects, they, they make lots of professionals kind of name and shame. They are still doing 2D CAD drawings and 2D CAD based design. And we have students here just delivering the, the most advanced stuff. And you'll see down the line that I'm right. So Villa Massenat here, Beam Center and Sustainable Infrastructure Building, Industrial Boiler. Fantastic, this project too. I'm not taking parts, I'm just the ones that I think they are great, I just say that, but feel free to push for the one uh, that you think is your favorite. Peter's Bridge, so uh, my guess is who did this is Peter, maybe I'm wrong, let's see if I'm right or wrong. Extra dosed bridge in uh, Kurov over Dunajik, I'm saying, sorry about that, I'm saying all these names uh, wrong. Victory uh, Twin Towers, Steel Bridge Competition, Brico 2020. Uh, it's a team that won. So we have three bridges and a Propagator Room Building, Centro Educational, Ferrovia, and Virtualization of the University Building for Internal Environment Analysis. Very, very interesting projects here. Let's have a look now to the bridges one. So where was it? We start with Peter's Bridge and look at this for a student project. Peter's Bridge, I'm not going to say these names, Petr, I know, but <laughs> I'm not going to say these names. Bridge model was designed by Petr Vicena, a third year student at the secondary, secondary school of civil engineering with a specialization in building construction. Very, very nice, uh, the project. So I'll leave you the details for you to come and see. So today I'm just going to Let's say the span between the pylons is for 408 meters, the height of the pylons 110 meters, and it was not only modeled, it was designed uh, too. We learn how to use Tecla Structures 3D Beam program to find collisions and generate drawing documentation and learn to export data for visualization programs. I guess it was IFC and the IFC is the way to go. It could have used Tecla uh, Visualizer, Rainbow Connect Visualizer, and uh, 
it could have done that too. It will not give ever this kind of architectural realism. That's not the idea. So just uh, I'll do an episode just about that. But uh, it's a very nice alternative. So it says it was a very interesting uh, experience. It is for us a very interesting thing here. Let's see if we have any video. We don't have any videos. Yeah, let's move on. So now we have extra dosed uh, bridge in Kurov over Dunajek. We have reinforcement, so it's mainly reinforcement. Let's just double check that. Mateusz Lapinski, Polytechnic Warsawska. The bridge project was created as part of the master thesis, focusing on beam methodology and its applications in infrastructure projects. Absolutely mind blowing. We have concrete, we have uh, PT cables, reinforcement. Look at that. Uh, this. Some nice visualizations, students love visualizations. So let's just check here some information. We have 100, 200, 200, 100 for the spans, 21.56, a single chamber box with a width of 16.9 meters, and then in span zones and 21.56 meters in the pylon zones, pylon zones, sorry, uh, 27.77 meters for the height. And he used C8095 uh, concrete. No problems of money there to use this uh, concrete. And uh, 12.6K cubic meters of uh, concrete here. I challenge you to go online and have a look into the um, these images and uh, more detailing and uh, even the video. And for sure, the, the resolution there is much better now the one I'm doing here. Now we have the bridge competition, Brico 2020, team uh, Cobblestone and uh, students. So we have Mikola, maybe Gregory, Greg yours, uh, from the Silesian University of Technology. Hello for Estonia. I love Estonia. The, the same way I love the other countries, right? So I may, take, I may cut this part, uh, but I miss uh, going to Estonia. Uh, the project bridge uh, is a Nordic steel bridge competition organized by the Board of Civil Engineering Students from Tallinn University of Technology. Amazing city to study, Tallinn. So I really hope you spend more time studying and uh, doing these projects uh, than um, going night out. But, uh, or maybe at least a uh, balanced uh, life uh, student and night out. So let's see here what we have is um, steel was S355 and then 5 meter load on the bridge. We don't have much information on this project, uh, which is a shame. Come on, guys. We need more information for this. World is all about information. Let's see if this. Yeah. So we have some steel structures and steel connections. It's a simple structure. It's quite interesting. Why not? Uh, look register, activate, download, and learn, and then try to do something like this. If you are into steel, not in concrete or rebar, so just try to do uh, something similar. It, it's, a, it's a challenge that I leave here for you, and then feel free to be in touch and uh, send the images uh, of your uh, models, uh, and then I could do an episode uh, about, about that. So this is the end of uh, this part of these three projects that are, are under competition. Good luck for them. So you still can vote. Go online, uh, vote uh, for your project. Uh, enjoy uh, the videos, enjoy the information. This is a good moment for you to subscribe and uh, select the notification bell because that uh, will help the channel to, to grow and leave as many comments as you want. And uh, don't leave one like, leave three likes. Right, so not two likes because you will take the, that like. So let me wrap up the episode and uh, see you on that side. Which one is your favorite? I look forward to know that. If you are one of these students, or if you know one of these students, maybe a friend, colleague, family, let them know that the Ministry of Bridges is looking for them. I want to have a chat with them to know more about your projects. It's all for now, Bridges people. I hope you enjoyed the episode and see you next week. Have a brimmer day. Mm, have a student day. <laughs>
just from the main screen and then enter into the two students that oh, three 